Hi, my name is Michael Cullen for Film Sound Tutorials, and welcome back for another video that's part of my video series of a one-man workflow for post-film sound. And in this video, we're going to talk about creating VCA tracks and busing submaster aux tracks. So VCA tracks, or voltage controlled amplifier tracks, or how I like to call them, volume controlled automation tracks, are tracks that you can use to manipulate the volume of a variety of tracks while only using one fader. And to set those up, let's go Control Shift N, which is making new tracks, and I'm gonna click VCA Master Tracks, and I'm gonna create five of them. Now, when a Pro Tools originally came out, VCA tracks were only available in the HD version of Pro Tools, but now I believe in Pro Tools 12, VCA tracks should be available in the standard versions. Great, so here I have my VCA tracks, and I'm going to name them to the corresponding groups that I want them to control. And so I'm going to set up a VCA track for my dialog family. So DX VCA. I'm going to have an effects VCA. I'm going to have a Foley VCA. I'm going to have a BG VCA. And I'm going to have a music VCA. Now, after naming them, let's actually connect those VCA tracks to their corresponding groups. So I'm going to click for the DX VCA, the DX group, FX for the FX group, Foley for the Foley group, BGs for the BGs, and the MX for the MX group. And some people like to keep their VCAs on the bottom of the session. I like to keep my VCAs under each family. So let's pull them up into their corresponding spots within the session. And so I'm going to put my dialog VCA on my last group track, which is the last track of my DX family. And I'm going to turn it the general color of my DX family, which is light blue. We're going to move down these. The effects VCA, same thing. We're going to turn this yellow. Moving on, we're going to go down to the fully tracks. Put this orange for fully. BGs. We're going to turn it green and MX. We're going to turn it a nice magenta. Awesome. So now that these VCAs are set up, let me show you what they can do. So like I said, now we can use the VCA tracks to control the volume of all the tracks within the group we set up. So all the tracks in the DX group are here above this DX VCA. And so you can see if I turn up the volume of the VCA, the tracks above it turn up in volume as well. And so you can see how that's controlling that. Great. Now, after setting the VCA tracks, let's set up some busing. So currently in my editorial tracks, I have all of the tracks going out to a single output, which is called stereo out, which is my master out, which is just connected to my inbox. Now, to be able to control these tracks much easily, I'm going to create what we call submaster tracks. So to do so, I first have to bus all of my families into different buses. Now, what are buses? Buses are what you could call a digital highway for the output of your audio. So just like highways have numbers, buses are also organized numerically. And so I'm going to select all of my dialogue tracks, clicking on the first dialogue track, going down to the last dialogue track. And then by holding shift alt, I'm going to select a bus from all of the available buses I have by default within my session. And so I'm going to send my dialogue tracks to bus one and two. It changed all of the outputs of the tracks I selected. Now, having it named bus one and two is fine, but for ease of simplicity, I'm going to rename the bus by just clicking right click, and I'm gonna call it DX sub master, because that's where this audio is eventually going to go. So let's do the same thing for the other families. Select all of them, select a bus, and I'm just going to go down numerically because it's easier. FX, Submaster. Same thing for the Foley tracks.
we'll call these full sub master. Same thing for the BGs. BG submaster. And same thing for the music tracks. MX submaster. So like I said, these are all going to go to submasters. So what are submasters? Well, submasters are just aux tracks that you can put plugins on to affect all of the audio coming through that track. So let's create some new aux tracks, shall we? And I'm going to put them underneath my music VCA. So control shift new, and I'm going to make stereo aux input tracks. And I'm going to make five of them because we have five families and we're going to create five submasters. Great. So there we go. So here we have our new aux tracks and let's rename the tracks to the corresponding families that I'm going to send through them. So the first one is going to be DX sub master. I'll just call it DX sub for short. FX sub. We have full sub. We have BG sub. And we have MX sub. And I'm going to change the color because I don't really like this color. We'll create it a nice little blue. So now we're going to change the input of these tracks to the corresponding buses that I just created. So the DX submaster input is going to be obviously DX submaster. Effects is going to be effects submaster. Foley is going to be Foley submaster. BG is going to be BG submaster. And MX is going to be MX submaster. Awesome. Then another trick we're going to do to make things easier with submasters is we're going to turn on the solo function for these tracks to be always on. And to do that, you hold control and you click on the solo functions. And so what essentially that does is whenever I solo an individual track within that family or submaster, then we will hear the audio output through the corresponding submaster. All right. So now that we have our submasters set up, Whenever we play audio from the clips above, instead of going straight stereo out like we previously had it, it's going to go to the submasters first. All right. Fourth. As you can see, the level's going. Time for Sean. And then from these tracks, it's going to go out to stereo out. And so let's set up a master fader track underneath my submasters. Control Shift New, stereo master fader track. And then on this track, we can see the total volume of all of the tracks within my session. And so that's going to be really handy for mixing. Great. So now that we have everything set up, let's just file save the session because I didn't add any new files, so I don't need to do save copy in. And so with that, this concludes this video and thanks for watching. So take care.